Hi friends, I am back again to post yet another video on some more information. Uh, as you guys know, spring is just around the corner and I had promised my followers and everybody else who watches my videos that I was going to make it out to the dyno and test my uh, LT head swapped LS engine. Um, plans changed. I ended up winning a LT supercharger on eBay dirt cheap. So I guess this video is going to be an informational session on if you guys want to do an LT4 swap onto your LT heads. Um, I'll share with you everything that I've figured out along the way. Not for the faint of heart this one. Um, I'd have to say this one gave me a lot more trouble than the actual just head swap and throwing on an intake with port injection. But anyways, um, I'll dive right into it. So here we go. Um, LT4 supercharger. The first thing I had to do to make this thing fit was I <clears throat> went out and got these adapter plates from Too High PSI. So they will uh, bolt directly to your LT1 style head and then on top of that they have the LT4 style bolt pattern so you can put this supercharger on. Now I learned this information from when I was looking up just random stuff about this. I think I picked this up for like 500 bucks on eBay. Um, two types of LT4 superchargers, the one off the Camaro, the one off the Corvette. The one on the Camaro apparently has a longer snout, which I don't think would work with any LS engine because the, according to the internet, the um, pulleys stick out three quarters of an inch further than any LS system does. So I ended up going with the um, <coughs> Corvette style one. And to do that, I bought an aftermarket pulley and then just flipped it around and pressed it on. As you can see, there's a little bit of a gap in there. It's actually worse than it looks because my um, gear puller kind of mashed up the end of it real quick, but it's on there quite a bit. And I pressed it on just enough to be able to catch the belts and everything line up. So that being said, the plates from Too High PSI, I ended up picking those up. You can bolt them directly to your heads. And then after that, um, they sell the injectors. There's three different kinds of plates. These ones are the SC, which means that you can use them with the, um, your stock location for your coils. All the other ones, you need a relocation kit. I'm currently running a cable throttle body and there is absolutely no room for any kind of setup for the cable. So I ended up running the throttle cable under the supercharger, which was tricky enough, but I got that done. Next step on the list was I ended up getting all the ICT plates. So I got the relocation kit for the alternator, power steering pump, and then on this side, the extra idler. And this is all for a truck style um, supercharged system. Ended up having to grind some down because I don't know if you guys can see right here, there's a chunk. This I had to grind down for the throttle. And then in behind, there's this huge chunk that comes down off the supercharger that wasn't gonna clear. So I ended up having to shave some of that down. That sucked. Chopping up brand new parts makes me very unhappy, but I mean, it's all about the end result. From there, I put the, I had to upgrade to a three bar map sensor, which is right here in the back. That'd be the place for that thing. Next would be your tackle your cooling system. So I kept with the, I mean the, uh, the LT4, the stock LT4 intake. The, I've seen some kits online where you can just put some threads here and here put some fittings on and then just run hoses whatever which way you want. I ended up drilling out the, um, just the nipples here. And then I put some brass fittings in and JB weld them in and works perfect. I have no issues there. But that was a tough one to tackle just because I kept with the truck style um, LSX 
the belt upgrade and there was zero clearance for anything. Um, next was just intercooler stuff, but I mean, you guys can mount your intercooler stuff wherever you want. <sighs> what else did I do for this thing? I removed the electronic um, right here on these superchargers is like an electronic something or other. I don't know if it's an actuator or just something for the wastegate. I read on the internet that if you want to bypass that, all you really have to do is just go directly from here onto this side, leave that side open to atmosphere, and then just plug the bottom one, and then you're good to go with that. As far as that goes, that's about it. I'm trying to think of other stuff, but I think it was literally just that simple. I think maybe just I made it overcomplicated, which could very well be. But anyways, this is my LS engine with LT heads. And if you come across an LT4 supercharger, it definitely can be done. Definitely a little bit more work than putting the heads on. The heads were probably a walk and apart compared to this. But um, as far as that goes, I don't know. It was uh, easy enough, runs great, sounds amazing. And I'm hoping to get this thing out to the dyno maybe one day. Um, I'd say the biggest thing I've learned so far from this was I had to make my own uh, belt pattern just because where the pulley sits, it was gonna hit all this stuff and nothing was really gonna work. So I ran them basically, uh, just a piece of wire cord and tried a bunch of different uh, routes until I found one that worked. And I'd say the next thing is probably I'm gonna get rid of these idler wheels because at higher RPM, they tend, the belt tends to walk. So I know Dayco makes uh, idler wheels with lips on them. I'm gonna replace that one. And then that one over there, and that should fix that issue. Aside from that, um, any questions or comments, hit me up. Same as always, you can uh, send me some comments in the post or just find me on Instagram or Facebook and happy to answer any of all your questions. And uh, yeah, go with that. Good luck.